watching USA, Cable's Entertainment Network. Liz, are you sure you don't want to leave a message for Miles? You know, you don't have to wait. I'll be glad to tell him anything you like. Message? Yes, you can give Miles a message. Tell him. Tell him I love him. No, Liz, I won't let you do this. Do what? Please! Drop the sweet and innocent. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Why, Beth, you're acting as if I was trying to steal your man. Assuming, of course, that he is your man. I will fight you any way that I know how to keep you away from him. I didn't know you had that kind of ammunition, dear sister. Look, you know, this argument is ridiculous. Why don't I make a pot of coffee and we can all, you know, talk it out? You know, Beth, I don't know why you think such terrible things about me. I've never tried to steal a man away from you before. Although, come to think of it, there hasn't been much to steal now, has there? Well, maybe the only reason you've never tried is you were so busy sleeping with the rest of Monticello. No, you don't. Oh, Liz, stop Liz, it, please. Oh, how Liz. dare you say that to me? How dare you? Liz, Liz Beth! Beth. Again. Do you hear me? What the hell is this? Barging into my office all the Word time. Word preacher? Of course not. Chris and Calvin haven't made their report from Nightmare Alley yet. He has to be found, Derek. Well, you're certainly changing your tune. A little while ago, you didn't want me to find him. Well, he's the only person who knows where Rick Mead's whereabouts are. Right now, Rick Mead is the least of your problems. Look, Alicia was just called on the stand, Derek. Now, she can send Raven to prison. She also could save her, but she's not going to want to do that, not unless I can find some way of putting some pressure on her. You think Mead is that pressure, huh? I'm certain of it. There's nothing I can do to help you until you tell me what was in that safety deposit box. Are you going to freely admit that you obtained this from the bank illegally? I'll admit anything. I'll do. I'll even go to jail to prevent Raven from being convicted. Well, defrauding the bank, you're probably going to go to jail anyway, regardless of what happens to Raven. Raven can't be convicted, Derek. Putting Raven in prison would... It would kill her. Oh, Sky. Look, I'm... I'm through throwing my weight around, Derek. Right now, I'm desperate. Ms. Van Dyne, to the best of your knowledge, who stole the plastics formula from Logan Swift's safe? Dell Emerson. I see. Could you tell the court why he did this? Well, there's no denying it now. I've already told the police. Mr. Emerson was working for me as an industrial spy. Perhaps everyone else in Monticello, but not Dell Emerson. Mrs. Whitney, allow your attorney to conduct the defense. I will not caution you again. Why don't you caution her? Every word out of that mouth is a lie. Prove it. What's going on? Why don't you ask her? I want an explanation from Look, you. Look, I didn't do anything. Believe Honestly, me, I... You calm down and you tell me what was going on between the two of you. I, I just wanted to show you how far I'd progressed with the sculpture and I couldn't find you anywhere. I was down with Derek Mallory. I was seeing if they had any leads on who might have broken into the lab. You said you weren't going to bring the I police know, into it. I know, it. but it was a police case. Well, why didn't you tell me? I was going to tell you. Are you going to tell me what started all of this? I know Beth changed those calculations. She didn't change anything. Will you well, forget about the calculations? Me. Why not the other sister? Because huh? I happen to know Beth a hell of a lot better than I know you. Well, that's a lousy reason. Well, it's the only reason you're going to get right now. Now, what was this all about? You're playing favorites, aren't you? If I were playing favorites, I wouldn't let you continue doing your work. But you're still suspicious of me. No, I'm not. Not about your work at the lab. I'm not anymore. Oh, thank you, Miles. Glad you trust me. Damn it, will you start earning that trust and tell me what this fight was about? 
Well, it certainly makes for interesting reading. But I don't know how much of this is true. Derek, look, I found out that Rick Mead was blackmailing Alicia. When I confronted him with it and I told him that he would have to testify, he panicked and ran. He didn't realize, however, that he had left his wallet and a safety deposit box key where I could find them. So you just decided to help yourself to what was in his box, huh? Look, time was running out for Raven. I needed to know what he had on Alicia. And now you think you found out, huh? Well, it's not going to do you any good. Evidence obtained like that is inadmissible in court. But Derek, look, Alicia was the one who knocked me unconscious in Logan's room. It's right there by her own admission. Well, it certainly does look that way. Derek Raven is innocent. Even you must be doubting her guilt by now, aren't you? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Jerry. Put the name Rick Mead through the computer, and then put an APB ad on him. Do it right away. Thanks. Thank you, Derek. Oh, don't thank me. You're in too much trouble to thank anybody. Look, Raven, every time you blow up like that, you're just hurting yourself. But someone has to force her to tell the truth. She's not on trial. You are. Mr. Murdoch, have you sufficiently warned your client against further outbursts? Yes, Your Honor, I have. And you may proceed with the witness. Thank you. Ms. Van Dyne, you were telling us about uh, Mr. Emerson's connection with the stolen formula? Oh, yes. I made no secret of the fact that I wanted the plastics process, but it was my intention to purchase the formula, not to steal it. Go on. Well, obviously, Mr. Emerson misinterpreted my intent, being the kind of man that he is. He exceeded my orders and stole the formula. And this was his idea alone? Mr. Murdoch, the Ultimax Group does not need to steal from its competitors. Ms. Van Dyne, it's part of the court record that the formula was in Logan Swift's safe up until the afternoon before he was murdered. Now, his secretary testified that she saw it there. Just when were you suggesting that Mr. Emerson stole the formula? Why, on the night of July 16th. Of course, that's when he told me he took it. It's also part of the court record that on the same night in question, David Grace was shot by Geraldine Saxon while he was ransacking her safe. Now, was he also in your employ? Was he also searching for the formula? They both exceeded their orders. I see. Ms. Van Dyne, you must be a very generous employer. You seem to generate a great deal of enthusiasm among your employees. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained, Mr. Murdoch. Your Honor, I would like to say that I realize now that hiring men of this type was perhaps not the best thing to do, and I I'm very sorry about it. Ms. Van Dyne, I understand that on one occasion you told several people that Ludwig Crick stole the formula. I was mistaken. Was he also in your employ? No. And was he also perhaps exceeding his orders? Ludwig Crick was impersonating Dr. Engler. He was, he was a murderer and, and a psychopath. As soon as I realized that, I did everything in my power to make sure that he was brought to justice. Well, that was very public-spirited of you. However, that doesn't really explain why you accused Crick in the first place. Well, if you must know, I was protecting Dale Emerson. You see, unlike Dave Grace, Dale Emerson had a previous police background. Uh, another arrest would have meant a long jail term, and so I tried to help him. But that, too, turned out to be a mistake. Apparently, he's saying very unkind things about me. Well, he hasn't said very unkind things about you in this court because he hasn't been called as a witness yet. Oh, uh, I wasn't aware of that. Mr. Murdoch, do you have any further questions for this witness? Uh, yes, I do, Your Honor. She's actually going to get away with this, isn't she? Well, unless we can get Rick Mead to testify, she can wriggle out of every trap I set for her. Now, I can't adjourn. It's too early, and I'm not going to be able to stall much longer. Mr. Murdoch! Yes, sir, yes. Uh, Ms. Van Dyne. Oh. Yes? Oh. My baby. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. oh. Your Honor, uh, considering the lateness of the hour and the condition of my client and the fact that I have several more questions to ask the witness, I would like to request an adjournment until tomorrow morning. 
Petition granted, Mr. Murdoch. Court is adjourned till 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thank you, Your Honor. All rise. Tell me, just between the two of us, was that an act? You did say theater of the real, didn't you? Oh. Do you think she's all right? She's a strong woman. You know, it's harder than I thought it would be, prosecuting someone I know, breaking up the only family Geraldine has left. Still, everything points to her having killed Logan. Even when the judge said that Jamie said that he lost the key in the Whitney house, it didn't seem to make much of an impression on the jury. Only because our case against Raven is so strong. <sighs> or maybe he was trying to protect his mother. I agree. You know, this case has been difficult enough from the beginning for me, but... My feelings for Geraldine, knowing Raven for so long, hasn't made it any easier. But I can't let my personal feelings creep in. It'd take too much out of me if I did. Mike, what if the trial continues to be as draining as it has been so far? I mean, my darling, you are my everything, and I don't want you to do anything. Nancy. It's almost over. Murdoch only has a few more witnesses to call. I'll make it. We'll make it. It was a fight that was long overdue. Beth can keep her feelings inside and be content with it. I can't. Just what was it that started it, Liz? She accused me of trying to take you away from her. She what? To tell you the truth, Miles, you're the first man I've met that I'd want to. Don't worry. Despite what my sister thinks, I wouldn't go that far. Unless I was asked. I care very much for Beth. I know. She's very lucky to have you. I wish I knew someone who cared that much for me. Someone. Anyone. So you're going to put me in jail? Well, eventually I'm going to have to arrest you. And all Ledgard has to do is just pick Preacher out of a lineup. So time is running out for me, too. Look, I, uh, I see this all the time. I know how you feel. No, you don't. We always had a chance, Raven and I, every battle that we fought. We lost our money and Spencer Barney. And then with Logan. We had to win. We were we were Whitney's. We don't seem to have any chance in this case, though. There's no happy endings. How's he doing? Not very well. He seems to be out of hope. All right, now what did you find out from Nightmare Alley? Anything? Well, uh, Mo Eberhardt sent Preacher over to this rooming house on 4th Avenue where Rick Mead was supposedly hiding out. So I uh, went over there. All right, what did you find out? Well, some guy answering Mead's description did spend one night there, but uh, turns out he couldn't pay his bill, so the landlady threw him out. I'm surprised he couldn't pay his bill. Whitney's walking around with Mead's wallet. Any word on Preacher? Well, now, Chris is still working on that, but the landlady said that uh, he stopped by after Mead had left. Now, but this is interesting. She said when Preacher drove off, she thought that his car was being followed. She get a good look at the car? Well, she said it was a brand new and very expensive car. Doesn't sound like the kind of car Mead would have access to. She didn't see the driver, did she? Well, as a matter of fact, she got the impression that the car was driven by, and I quote, a woman who was very well-dressed and had flaming red hair. 
Hotel, Mrs. Whitney. Uh, can I get you anything? Just a cup of tea. I'm too tired to eat. Right. Hey, you. Hey. Come over here and sit down. Uh, did Skyler call? Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, rough day in court, huh? Oh, that's an understatement. But you, you were terrific. I thought you'd be mad. Why would I be mad? Because I was playing with your keys. That was the highlight of the entire day. You know what he did? He told the judge that he lost to Logan's keys in this house. <laughs> Evie, that's how it was, huh? Did the jury buy it? Well, I thought they'd have to, but no, I'm not so sure. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Oh, look, I'll go brew your tea, Mrs. Whitney. I hope you have good news about Rick Mead and the preacher. I'm sorry. Then it's all over, isn't it? No, no, not quite. There's still one thing that I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to go upstairs and change my clothes, and I'm going to be going out again. Where? To see Alicia. Now, Miles, <laughs> before you say one thing, I just want to tell you how sorry I am about no, uh, everything no, that just No happened. need to apologize. But there is. I mean, there is. I mean, I'm like that. I mean, I feel terrible about letting myself get so out of control. I just wish you'd let me know what caused this, this rift between you and your sister. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. Look, will you all excuse me? I have a few things to do upstairs. Beth, whenever you have the time, I'd like to talk again. Yeah, I'd like that too. Jody, I apologize. Okay. Give me a call tomorrow. Well, now that all the excitement is over, is there something you want to see me about? Well, um, actually, the, um, the reason I came over was to talk to Jody. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> well, now that you're here, um, how about dinner? Party dress. I've seen better days. Doesn't matter. Would you mind if I went home and changed first? Not at all. Then I'd I'd love to. See right there, you can feel the baby. I can't wait for the baby to be born. Why? So you can have somebody to play with? Because he's smaller than me. So what do you mean by that? So I can boss him around. Oh, <laughs> you don't mean that to me. No. no. Well, we're going to have a family, and we're going to forget about everything that happened, and everything's going to be just great. I hope so. I never really had much of a family life. And you want to know something? Mm -hmm. That's really all I ever really wanted. Yes? Uh, Sky, what are you doing here? Alicia, you've got to go to court and tell the truth and help save my wife. Oh, you can't be serious. In fact, you'd have to be drunk to think I'd do anything to save that woman from prison. You really do love her, don't you? You know damn well I do. That's very interesting. Coming from a man who once told me he didn't know what love was. Raven taught me. How poetic. I can't let Raven go to prison. I'll do anything to stop that from happening. Anything. In fact, it looks like I'm going to prison for what I've done already. Are you referring to the safe deposit box? That can't be used in court, can it? No, it can't. So if you're thrown in prison, then it's all for nothing, isn't it? I'm not finished yet. What can you do? 
I could convince you to tell the truth in court. Oh. <laughs> and what do you plan on giving me in return? Anything you want. Uh, excuse me. I don't think I understand you. I can't let Raven go to prison. And uh, you think you've come up with some new way to avoid that? I think that I have. You're not inferring that you would go away with me to save Raven? If that's what it takes. with me now tonight hmm?